Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Calgary Barbell. Today we're going to do a little bit of a video on tape on the thumbs and hook grip. Now, a lot of people like to tape their thumbs for hook grip. I don't. I'm going to talk about why. Uh, and I've also had a lot of questions and a number of clients ask me about how exactly I hook grip. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what I do to make it a little bit more secure and a little bit less painful. So we'll start off with the tape. Now, there's a couple reasons that I don't use tape. Number one, I feel like it increases the amount of pressure if you wrap it too tightly. And a lot of the pain I get in my thumbs is from the pressure. So by trapping all the blood in the tip of my thumb and then applying a whole bunch of external pressure to it, that really makes my thumbs hurt extra. Now, if the pain that you're getting and the issue you're having is the skin tearing because the bar's rolling, um, Number one, I would say you should try to set the bar a little lower in your thumb. Uh, make sure you're setting the tension and pulling so the bar's at the end of where it's gonna roll to by the time you start your pull. But tape might also help you decrease the amount of friction and tearing on your skin. Number two, the other reason I don't really like using tape because A, uh, this medical tape, which is a, or sport tape, athletic tape, is a very popular option, but what'll happen is after even one set, sometimes a couple of reps, if it's wrapped tightly at all, the pressure of your thumb will cause it to tear, meaning you'll have to probably retape your thumbs each set, which is a pain in the ass. Now, good tape, I got this from Average Bros Gym. It's called White Magic. As you can see, it's got a little bit of stretch to it and it's self-adhesive, so that means it sticks to itself really, really well. The issue with that is that it's thick. So for me, that extra millimeter further out or that extra millimeter of thickness in my thumb means that there's less of my fingers able to grip on the thumb, which means for me, I had an issue where I was feeling a lot less powerful, a lot less grip strength from having essentially thicker thumbs by a millimeter or so. The other thing I found is that this tape does roll. So I was having it bunch up and start rolling down my thumb. Now, that might be because I was taping it wrong, maybe there's a better way to do it, but the tape's nice and long, so essentially, you just wrap it around your thumb, right around the joint, and there you go, Bob's your uncle. The other beautiful thing about this tape is that it's super flexible, so you don't get that ripping issue, whereas if you wrap the athletic tape too tight, you go like this, it's probably gonna rip and tear. This uh, White Magic tape is a lot better. Um, I would say, in conclusion, if you are gonna use tape, if you're having issues with ripping, I would use a good quality cloth tape like this that has some flexibility and is self-adhesive. Uh, again, this is from Average Bros Gym in Las Vegas. It's called White Magic. You can get it in pink. It's pink magic. Um, I would use this for your volume stuff. And then for your singles, I would probably go bare thumb. Now, the other thing I wanna talk about a little bit that kind of runs in conjunction with all of this is just a super basic tip for hook grip. Now I've had a lot of people say that hook grip really, really hurts or that they can't seem to hold on to anything. And as soon as I've kind of shown them this, it seems to help a lot. So I think one thing a lot of people do is they just try to wedge their thumb and wrap their thumb around the bar and then grab on. And what happens then is you, the, your, whatever, your middle finger is on the tip of your thumb instead of in this little groove here. So what I find really helps and has helped a lot of people is if you think about laying your thumb across the bar, parallel to the bar, as opposed to wrapping around the bar, parallel to the bar, so your middle finger fits right in that groove where your cuticle meets your thumbnail. Now this finger is gonna help reinforce that grip and honestly, that's most of your hook grip is this finger here. If you can get this finger here to hold and this one to reinforce a little bit, You'll see by the time I get to the top of a heavy lift, that's really all that's holding on is those two fingers. Um, and if you chalk up well enough, make sure to chalk this crease here all the way around your thumb, get a little bit of chalk on your thumbnail if you can, that should hold. But that's the skinny on using tape, why it might work for you, why I don't use it personally. And a quick tip for hook grip. Uh, I got that from Clint Darden, by the way. He's got a video on it. He calls it a painless hook grip. My opinion, it still hurts like crap, but it hurts a little bit less. 
Uh, hopefully that helps everybody. Hopefully that answers some questions we've had crop up on the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video.